Hopefully the lighting's good. But hey guys, Molly here, and welcome back to my channel. So today is opening day of Festival of the Arts. So I am here, Festival of the Arts. This is my second year doing it. Um, I just got something from the France Pavilion. Uh, I got it last year. It is the bread bowl with the brie cheese in it. And when I got it last year, it was absolutely amazing. I think I gave it 10 out of 10. And I'm pretty sure this year it's gonna be the same thing, 10 out of 10. Um, but I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. So it's just a little bread bowl with brie cheese in it. It is absolutely amazing and I really loved it last year. So I was like, of course this had to be the first thing that I got. But, but I'm gonna try for you guys again. It doesn't live up to the hype as last year. Let's see. Mmm. On a wobbly table. Brie cheese is absolutely amazing. Um, I know you can always get like different like brands of brie cheese. I don't know what kind of brand that like Epcot uses, but this brand of brie cheese is amazing. And honestly, this is the only brie cheese I've ever had, um, which was for Festival Arts here in Epcot. Rating, 10 out of 10. Absolutely to die for, so. If you like cheese and you like bread, this is your kind of thing, this is your cup of tea. Um, I like cheese, I like bread, so, you know. Also, they gave me a Evon, Evian water. They didn't have the Sani. Um, it is French water, it says made by the French Alps. I don't think I've ever had this water before. It's better, a lot better than the Sani, 100%. I haven't had this, but wait, let's try it. Let's try the water. <laughs> mm, delicious. Tastes like water. So, but it is French water, hence we're in France. So, um, I do recommend getting this because it is like, I don't know if it's like a fan favorite, but it's my favorite. So, yeah. But... This uh, brie cheese bread bowl is a must get here for the Festival of Arts. So, I don't know why I keep getting wobbly tables, but I stopped in Italy. I got the Babylone chocolate hazelnut Italian donut with powdered sugar, and then I also got an Italian margarita. They have this, I think, every festival. Um, it's with tequila and lima kilo or something like that. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Lemon, lime and celia, whatever. With tequila. So it's an Italian margarita. Um, voila, which I really like this. It's really, really good. Um, I've had this a couple times before during food and wine. But this is what the donuts look like powdered sugar on it it's like green powdered sugar uh hazelnut cream filled on it and then there's this i'm not sure what this is oh it looks it like hazelnut chocolate so i don't know oh actually i'm wrong so on the board it said it was like cream filled donuts, um, but in this it said hazelnut chocolate filled donuts. So I don't really know. My teeth are green. <laughs> this is green powdered on it. I'm dead. <laughs> My teeth are great. <laughs> and I just hear it. Okay. okay, I'm dead. And they are my bad. It's. Why would they put green powder on. Oh, it makes your teeth great. Okay, the logic's not there. Um, Because on the board, it said cream filled donuts. Like, this is kind of like. It's not even cream, it's not like white cream. 
it's my it's windy it's like a boston cream donut when you get uh um Dunkin' Donuts, you get a Boston Cream Donut with like chocolate icing and then it has that in the middle. It tastes exactly like a Boston Cream Donut. But in the pamphlet it says chocolate hazelnut Italian donut with powdered sugar. This little thing right here. Oh wait, I just realized I'm dumb. I really am dumb. This little thing, I just realized this chocolate. Chocolate is an Italian donut. None of that. It says on the board, cream, cream filled donut. So I was a little confused. So I was like, huh? And then this little thing is chocolate with something in it. So I don't even know. That's really confusing. But I think this made my teeth green. But it's really good. Um, I'm gonna dip it in the thing, whatever it is. I'm kinda scared. That was good. Okay, you can just like dip it in there. That's good. I keep forgetting to take a photo for Instagram. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 because they're really good. And it reminds me of Dunkin' Donuts. And I love Dunkin' Donuts. And the Italian margarita. <laughs> so that's my review of Italy for the Babolino donuts and the Italian margarita. So I'm here in the creation shop here. I've caught, so I'm going to show you some of the festival merch that they have for this year. This is the first shirt that they ha that I see. This is $39.99 and they have this hoodie. For $44.99. And then this is the spirit jersey that they have for this year. Make a masterpiece today. And that's running for $74.99. And then they do have this figment tumbler. Which is $26.99. And they have this limited edition. It's only 2,000 of them. I actually might get one. That's what it looks like. Kind of. Trying to show you. $39.99. I think I might actually get them. The, because it's a limited edition. And I don't have any other magic band except this one. And Festival Arts is one of my favorite festivals. So I'm going to have to get a magic band for it. They have this little plate. It's running for $19.99. Super cute. And then I see that they do have a pass holder magic bands. Should I get both of them? Or what? I do see this pass holder pin at limited edition one. $19.99. I might actually get this one too because I am a pass holder. And then they have this hat with pigment on it $29.99 and I see that they do have I think their postcards no eight note cards and envelopes for $9.99 there's another pin that they have limited edition might get this one as well that's the key and this is another pin that they have pigment I'm not getting figment. I don't really like figment, so I'm not getting him. And then you have another figment one. $17.99.